Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Gemini, we're doing your reading. So if you have your sun, moon, rising in Gemini, this could resonate for you. This is going to be a reading forecast for February, but it's really timeless for whenever you see it. Let's go ahead and check in the energy. Um, I want to get some details for you guys, so I'm going to start off with um, an oracle card for you. See what the month is looking like. All right, what do you have for Gemini? And I'm going to try to make these around 10 minutes. We have Root Girl. Um, the Disowned Self. At the bottom of the deck, we have Unmarked Trail Revelation. <clears throat> what I'm mostly getting with this, Gemini, is that you could be having some type of revelation or acknowledgement or understanding of some type of root trauma, childhood trauma that you have and how this has been affecting you. You might have some um, more information on how to get over a trauma work through some type of trauma to have better relationships better functioning in your life all together really i don't know why i'm this close to this camera and i don't know why my hair looks like this i do because it's um i straightened it and um i'm just letting it unstraighten by itself <laughs> all right let's go ahead and get more on this energy the magician so yeah you've been manifesting out of this root girl energy and now you might be aware of why things have been going the way that they've been going for you maybe you haven't been getting exactly what you wanted but there's some type of trauma that you're manifesting from yeah this is subconscious this is the four of swords this is a subconscious manifestation exactly yes yeah, what i'm seeing <clears throat> So if you have subconscious blocks, which is usually caused by trauma, you're going to be manifesting that that trauma and not what it is that you truly want. So if you, let's say you want to be rich, let's just use that as an example. Who doesn't, right? But if you have trauma, like maybe you grew up really poor, maybe you missed meals, um, maybe you were neglected, especially when it comes to financial things, just the basic financial things, um, you can still hold that trauma inside of you and be manifesting from that. So <clears throat> you're telling the universe that you want riches, you want wealth, you want abundance, but your inner dialogue, your subconscious mind is saying, no, I want, I want more of what I've always known, what I'm used to, what I'm comfortable with. And that's um what you had and that's just an example it doesn't have to be your situation <clears throat> we got judgment yeah <laughs> wow yes this is um affecting your creativity your manifestation you bringing forth what it is that you want from the ethers into the 3d reality and then judgments over here for you guys so yeah you're judging situations from your subconscious. You're you're bringing forth things from your subconscious mind. Is off top what I'm getting here. All right, let's do some clarification for you guys. I can't possibly understand why someone has a motorcycle right on their porch. Like that's fucking crazy. If you guys hear that, that's what it is. Okay, so yeah, you're choosing paths to go down <clears throat> based on this trauma. You're judging things based on your subconscious. And you might not even be aware of this. But I do feel like this is coming back around for you. You could be tested at this time to see if you're ready to move past this trauma and start manifesting from a higher a higher place here which is the empress yes from your higher self we have yeah <laughs> this is some soul work that needs to be done here so you definitely need to take time out to heal yourself 
you need to search for those things. That's what I'm saying. That's why this card came out right here. This own self. There's a part of you, and it could be from your childhood. It, it's some type of trauma that hasn't been healed here. Which is causing um, your manifestations to not be exactly what you want. Yeah, we got the Ace of Wands in reverse here. So, yeah. <laughs> this is not what you want. Show me the magician. Yeah. Five of Wands. Manifesting conflict, competition, just negative energy is just not what it is that you want. It's not what you want. And it's like, um, basically you're fighting your manifestations. You're fighting what it is that you do want by manifesting from your subconscious the things that you don't, you no longer want. So what you have to do is uh, the soul searching, the healing to figure out, okay, what is it? What, where is this trauma coming from? All right. You need to make peace with that. You need to forgive what um, maybe you need to talk about it maybe you need to get clear on it maybe you need to find understanding in it whatever it is that you feel like you have to do to clear that blockage that's what's going to help create your manifestations that you do want and i do see you coming into an abundant energy here with this empress coming in at the bottom of the deck saying that you are getting past this so this could be something that you're actually working through right now gemini We got the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're about to get on to your life path right now. And a part of your life path is clearing this blockage. I, just, I mean, I don't live by the street. Um, this is my porch here, my front porch. So there's a motorcycle driving near my front porch. Like, how special. You're driving on the sidewalk in a crazy just as I begin my readings yeah we have the hierophant here this is spiritual guidance um your higher self could be trying to communicate with you at this time Gemini I was, <laughs> yeah you're being taken out um I don't know why I'm getting like you're getting taken out of action or something's not happening for you. You could be stuck in some type of situation or some type of, um, maybe you're not manifesting anything that you want and you're having to really sit back and look like, okay, what am I, what did, what do I need to do here? Spirit is guiding you to do some soul searching here though. You could be having dreams that are prompting you, um, Or some type of spiritual, um, maybe you're lucid dreaming or you're being shown something through visions or dreams that's a part of the healing, the part of the trauma that you need to heal. We got the page of cups here. There could be some type of forgiveness that needs to happen. Maybe you're waiting for somebody to come and offer you an apology, but that's where the conflict is coming in because we have somebody, somebody's not ready to do that apparently. So you're going to just have to make peace with this on your own. You might be owed an apology. There's a lot of major arcanas here. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, the Hermit, the Hierophant, and the Judgment card with the Empress here. So like six major arcanas, that's crazy. So this is definitely some life-changing um, energy that's presented itself here. And it's like you're getting to the bottom of it to be able to get onto your destined path. I do see you manifest in abundance here though. That is coming in as you heal these uh, wounds and triggers here. That is what I have for you, Gemini. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you on the next one.